Hi guys, um, I don't know if you remember seeing my video yesterday, but um, for anyone who's having issues with this Oculus, um, I managed to get it to boot up again. You can see that's the, uh, I'll take it in. That there is the, that is fully charged and you can see a blue button. You can see the blue light, yeah. So all I did was hold it for 30 seconds, just solidly hold it off. It goes off when it, it, you know you don't you haven't got it on its head. Yeah. So and then eventually it booted up and it was on orange. This thing will not charge or do anything when uh, when it's uh, and the reason why is what's stopping it is the fact that I had issues with my account. I created a new well. I haven't created a proper account with the app, but that's another thing I'm going to talk about. Um, it's basically a data snooping device. If you look at the screenshot um, that I've put on this video, it wants to collect data because it's part of Google, it, it's part of Facebook. And you know, these people are just after, it's a dating minor thing. Um, my thoughts on this, um, it's, it's, it's frustrating, very frustrating, but I was, I thought I'd show this hack with you guys. You don't need to hold the power button down and the volume, which is located here. This big band thing under here is your volume. That is, that just adjusts, you know, my eyes, if your eyes are a bit you know, it just centers your eyes, but you're supposed to hold that down on that. I just held down the power button, it booted up. It went to orange, I left it on for about one hour and it's fully charged. Yeah, so the thing is now, it, it, all you're gonna get is the little three dots, gone one, you know, the three dots flashing at you, kind of saying, well, so you've got to then go on your phone app and set up an account. And then once that's successful, you'll be able to use this thing. So, I said before, why the hell it doesn't just have these little cartridge games? Just, I mean, put one in, press play, done. Um, so much easier. <laughs> but it's an online bitch. And it's, uh, yeah. Basically, it likes to be part of Facebook and Oculus, and you've got to go through all the hoops of getting online and setting up an account, and providing all your details so they can butt fuck you hard. Um, yeah, good device, but it's frustrating. So yeah, any guys who want to start this up and they get a cold or they just won't start, just put it. Or hold it down for 30 seconds and it will do and then one of the reasons it will um, Not charge to do fuck all or brickle because nine times out of ten It'll be your account and if your account is Not relevant or you've changed your account or you haven't set up an app because it tells you to do it When you first get it and it will not do fuck all um, Why they've done it like this I can understand, but I don't think I don't know why they just don't give us some games you can slot it in, like, and then just press play. Fuck all this signing in and creating accounts, and you know, there should be the option just to just to like like the PlayStations did years ago. You put a disc in it and you press play. It should be the same, a little tiny mini disc or something, you know. Um, for people who don't have internet accounts, this thing is useless. Um, and I mean, people say, oh no, Tony, you know, where am I? Well, it's fucking fine. Well, it's for people who have had issues, man. So yeah, hold it down 30 seconds, it will boot up and then just sort yourself out, sort that app out and it'll work. But again, it's very, yeah, you know. It might be mobile, it might be wireless, but it's still a fucking giant pin in my ass. Thanks for watching, guys.
can chill out.